Alright, today I was playing my accordion and the strap broke. So it makes it difficult. Let's see, put your thumb in there normally. And it allows you to pull the bellows. Or the bellow. It makes it difficult to play if you don't have a strap. So today I'm going to replace the strap. Start by unscrewing the original one. Alright, I have the old strap. I'm going to replace it with leather strap. So I'm just going to match up approximately how big. And then I'm going to cut out the leather using these. Let's see how that goes. You can see that I'm just cutting the leather with ordinary scissors. Leather cuts pretty nice, pretty smooth. That's it. There's the old one and the new one. Just gonna trim off the fat. doesn't even have to be pretty. That's what I need, that piece right there. Okay, now, take the piece and figure out where the holes are gonna go. I'm gonna line up the old holes and mark. I need four holes, one on each end. I haven't decided if I wanna do the, the rough side or the smooth side. They're both, they both feel really nice to the thumb. Either way you decide, I'm sure we'll be fine, if you choose to use leather. Not that anybody even has one of these Goodland or Hero type accordions that has this problem, but if you do, don't throw it away, it's not worthless, you can't fix it. So, I actually like the feel of the, the softer side of the leather. There's the, the smooth side, and then there's this side. I don't know that I don't know what you call that crap. I'm gonna have the, the smoother side out. So line it up. Okay, what I decided to do is to use this board. I can actually screw the first screw through the leather to attach the first hole so that I can mark the second one. So I can't put a lot of pressure on the on the accordion base. It's not attached very firmly. And on the other side the keys and I don't want to tear it up. So use the wood to help spot you. Heck I almost made a hole there. And once you get it all the way through, I got the screw through, one of them through, uh, then I can go ahead and attach it to the accordion. Alright, I got the two holes started. Once I get the two holes in there, now I'm just going to fold it over and poke through to create the other two holes on the other piece. And I think it's notable to show that when you're working with the leather and the screw, that you have to almost hold the to hold the leather down while you're working on it. And it also helps to spot the screwdriver even when I'm screwing out. So if I start screwing, look what it does to the leather, it twists it. So you have to push down on the leather. And then you can screw. See here I can doesn't help you put a hole in it if you're doing that. If you just hold back here, then it still twists the leather. So if you just push down on the leather, and you can hold the screwdriver in place too. Because when you're, especially when you're screwing down, it wants to slip off and go crazy. So you can push down the leather and hold the screw and, and the screwdriver in place at the same time. I think it's the best technique. Okay, I got both. 
both pieces, both ends have the two holes in it, so I'm ready to put it together. See these have small washers, so be sure to remember to put the washer back on. And I'm just holding it in place and screwing the screw through the leather. Okay, I have them both started in the leather and I'm getting ready to put it back together. Alright, there's the new strap. Stick my thumb in there and give it a test run. Thanks for watching. After the screw, I lost the other screw. Oh, you, did you have it? Oh, there it is. It was bored.